What's up, guys? Today I bring you episode 83 of the coolest tech of the month, August 2023. So, another month, another epic episode where I'll be checking out a whole bunch of hand picked innovative core tech products and gadgets. And in this episode, you're going to see an electric scooter, we have a new smartwatch, some interesting budget earbuds, we have some limited edition energy boosting summer snacks a gaming keyboard, some Nintendo Switch accessories, a security camera, a portable TV, a portable dust blower, an incredible hovering drone, and lots, lots more. So if you have not already, then please like and sub to the channel and follow on socials for more innovative core tech videos like this one. And as usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first core product. So first up, we have the Evercross EV10K. This electric scooter is priced around 400 US dollars and features a powerful 500 watt motor with top speeds of up to 19 miles per hour. Now the top speed is actually region locked. So in the UK, it will be 15 miles per hour to meet UK regulations. Now I've heard you can quite easily unlock the top speed with a few simple steps. Furthermore, there is a 36 watt 10.4 AH battery, which takes around six to eight hours to fully charge. The battery is built in to the unit, so it's not removable. And the battery will give you a pretty decent range of 22 miles. The tires are 10 inch solid, so they will never get punctured. The scooter also features cruise control and security features built into the smartphone app. So you can actually lock the wheels. So if somebody tries to steal the scooter, they will not be able to ride away as the wheels will become locked. And you need to use a considerable amount of force to push the scooter forward. So when it's locked, you see a P come up like a parking mode kind of thing. Now when you push it forward, it's gonna bloody resist. Look at this guys. I'm pushing and the back wheel is coming up because it's uh, resisting my push forward. It's almost pressing the brake on me electronically. So I can't take it anywhere. Same with going backwards. You know, if you want to steal this, you have to literally lift this up and take it with you. You're not going to be able to ride it away or wheel it away. So really neat security feature. Also quick look at the handlebars. You have a mechanical single rear brake, a bell and a small screen to show you various metrics like speed, battery life, distance and mode. To change the mode, you just short press the power button and you can cycle through all three modes. And if you double press the power button, you will switch on the front LED lights. And on the right side, you will find your left and right indicators. So every time you press the indicators, either the left or right side of the handlebar will light up. And the indicators are also on the rear wheels, which is a nice added touch. Now the scooter itself weighs around 16 kgs and the maximum load supported is up to 150 kg. The scooter offers a decent, nice, smooth ride with front and rear shock absorbers. So you have a decent amount of power and acceleration and the ride is quite stable. All right, in eco mode, first of all, you can barely get seven kilometers per hour, which is just not fast enough. So putting it to gear one now, level one, so you can now achieve around 12 kilometers per hour, which is much better, much faster. Sports mode, level three, highest level. And now you can feel that acceleration. Feels really good. So that's the maximum speed, 15 kilometers per hour. I'm gonna press my bell. Thank you. The brakes aren't that sharp. The brakes are good enough, but they're not just, they're not sharp like some other scooters are. Now, in case you're wondering, this e-scooter comes very well packaged in a large box and comes with everything you need, including instructions, tools, power cable and power supply. Although the scooter comes nearly pre-assembled, you just need to hook up the front handlebar with the included screws, which is very straightforward to do. So that was the Evercross EV10K people. Definitely check this one out. So next up, we are looking at the Mobvoi TicWatch Pro 5. So this is the new sandstone color of the TicWatch Pro 5. You've got the same great specifications, same build quality, that's aluminum, nylon, and fiberglass with Gorilla Glass on the front. There is a rotating crown and a whole bunch of health sensors on the back. This also has that same dual display AMOLED and low powered LCD display on top. 
It's rugged, military standard, 810H, IP68 water resistant, and it's powered by the Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1 with built-in Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, amazing battery life. I can achieve six days of battery life with all health features turned on. This does support fast charging and it charges up pretty quick and it's running Wear OS version 3. Now I've actually been told that Wear OS version 4 is coming on this watch soon. I can't tell you, I haven't got an approximate date for it, but it is in the working. Mobvoi Tick Watch Pro 5. I've already done a full review of this watch. This is just an introduction of the new sandstone color, which I think is a very nice touch. If you like Tick Watch and you always wanted a different color, here's your chance. Tick Watch Pro 5 in new sandstone color. Next up, we've got a brand new pair of Bluetooth earbuds. This is the Edifier TWS1 Pro 2. So a brand new affordable pair of true wireless stereo earbuds. The case is made from a reflective black plastic. On the back, we've got a type C charging port. And when you open them up, you'll be presented with the earbuds themselves. Pretty decent sized earbuds. They do support ANC with Bluetooth 5.3. They've got 10 millimeter dynamic drivers. So decent sized drivers inside. We've got six hours of battery life per earbud. They do support fast charging, 10 minutes charge equals one hour of music. Total playtime with the charging case, 24 hours. So pretty good battery life. They do also support in-ear detection. So when you put the earbud into your ear, the music will play. When you take them out, the music will stop. You've got quad microphones built in. They support IP54 and you've got easy touch control. There is also a smartphone app called the Edifier Connect app, and that will give you some extra EQs and presets to play with. Very nice for the price, Edifier TWS1 Pro 2 Bluetooth earbuds. Okay, Galaxy Fold 5 is finally in the house. Not many changes over last year. Cover screen is still 6.2 inch HD plus 120 hertz. Main display is still 7.6 inch QXGA plus 120 hertz, but slightly brighter at 1200 nits. Both displays are still dynamic AMOLED X2. We have a new flex hinge, so when you close the phone, there are no gaps in between, which is nice. Cameras, at least on paper, appear to be the same as last year. So 50 megapixel primary, 10 megapixel telephoto, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel on the front cover. Battery is also the same as last year, so 4,400 milliamp hours. Chipset has been upgraded to Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is nice. And Gorilla Glass has been updated to Victus 2, same as the S23 Ultra. Now this phone is also IPX8, same as last year. So in other words, if you have a Fold 4, keep it. There is no point upgrading this year. Furthermore, if you want to see a full review of this phone, then do let me know in the comments. So next up we have a brand new limited edition drop by Sneak. This is the Sneak Freezies. It's a limited edition drop, so they are not gonna make these again. It's like a one-off thing. And you can see I've already started on these. There are two missing from here. I'll just give you a quick look. So typical Calippo style design. Um, you can see raspberry lemonade flavor. You can also pick this up in electric mango. So best served frozen. I've already had two of these and these are fantastic. I tell you right now, um, they give you that genuine boost. So if you're a gamer, you're a Twitch streamer, you're a content creator and you're into these energy drinks. Well, for the summer, you've got an option for freezies and a very good option as well. Do check out their website. Next cool product is the Keymove Angel K68. This is a beautiful compact mechanical keyboard. So this is a three-in-one wireless keyboard. If you look on the side, you can see supports Bluetooth 5.0, 2.4 gigahertz wireless via the USB dongle in the box, or you can even use this wired via the Type-C port. You also have multi-platform support and there is a flick switch for Mac and Windows, but this will also work on Linux, Android, and lots more. You've got a 68 key design and they are Cherry MX switches. You have low profile keycaps and they are hot swappable. You can connect up to five devices. You've got 19 RGB lights and you can see they look fantastic. You've even got nine RGB keyboard side strips going all the way around. So a really nice keyboard. 3000 milliamp hour battery. So there is some weight to this. It's a decent large battery in this. And get this massive battery life, 125 hours. Really nice long battery life. Type-C port on the front to charge and to, and to go wired. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be using with my new PC setup, so I can't wait to get it all hooked up. So Keymove K68 mechanical keyboard. Awesome stuff. 
So next up, we're looking at a very interesting product. This is the Hover Camera X1. So what is it? Well, this is a foldable drone. It has a 2.7K camera on the front. You can see there's no controller included in the box. So basically this will take off from your palm. It will give you a live preview on your phone. You've got burst mode, hover mode, follow mode, zoom out, orbit mode, and bird's eye mode. You can see you've got a complete plastic cage uh, protecting the propellers. So you can use this indoors without worrying about the walls getting damaged. Okay, got some accessories here. I've got a dual battery charging hub with a simple type C connection. So here is one of the batteries. It basically slots in like so. And then you will see one battery installed on the top. You can remove that. And both batteries can be charged at the same time. incredible so next up we have nintendo switch game card reader so why would you need an eight in one card reader when you want to change a game it gets a bit tedious you have to open the game card slot you have to take the game card out and put a new one in this saves you from all that hassle so it's an eight in one card reader for nintendo switch and you can see you have one single nintendo switch card which goes into that slot there I've got the Switch OLED here, but this works on all versions of the Switch. So basically, this hooks onto the back. Over here, you can see a single game card, which you plug into here, like so. Okay, plug in the Type-C cable for power. And now you can slot your games in. The top four slots are for your favorite games, and I'll put them in right now. And the other four slots are for storage. So I'm just gonna store. So once you've got it all installed, it's gonna look like this. So now you can basically interchange between the four games by pressing this button over here. And 
I'll show you how that works. You can see the light turns different colors to tell you which game you have in each slot. You can see that the main game changes over here. So Mario Odyssey, change it again. Mario Maker, press it again. Mario Kart 8, and press it once more. Uh, Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. So those of you who like to play the Switch docked on the big screen um, and play multiple games, you like changing your games frequently, this is a must-have accessory. Okay, next up we are looking at the Wear Pulse Check Me O2 Max. So this is a smart wrist pulse oximeter. It can check your heart rate and blood oxygen in real time. Wear the actual module around your wrist and then this ring goes on your finger like so. So you can see it's currently checking my heart rate and my blood oxygen at the same time and you saw how quick it is. So this is basically a wearable wrist pulse oximeter, 72 hour long battery, it does your SpO2 and heart rate, it's supposed to be medical grade standards. There is a free app that will record all your statistics. You've got your SpO2 level heart rate, it also does body motion. You've got a nice big enough OLED display, so you can see my current heart rate is 90 and in real time it changes and SpO2 is on 95 and that will also change in real time. So this is the Check Me O2 Max by Wear Pulse. So this is the VS Go portable electric air blower. So check it out, very neatly presented here. It looks like we have a modular setup here, made from metal, premium build. So we're basically slotting the top in like so. So you've got a number of attachments that you can use. That goes on like that. Okay, LED flash at the bottom. So you just press the trigger at the front. And, you, and there you go. That's level one. Here's level two. And level three. So there you go, a surprisingly powerful device. You've got metal blades inside. They, they spin at 100,000 RPM. This has a 4.2 kPa dust removable power, 120 kilometers per hour wind speed on the highest setting. Um, even the lowest setting was good enough for my office. So yeah, a really handy electric air blower. I call it a dust blower. Um, really handy to keep in your office if you wanna clear some dust with ease or even clean the inside of a computer case, this is really handy. Definitely check out the VSGO electric air blower. And so next up on my list, we have the Babytone wireless security camera. So home security camera kit, it's uh, ideally for indoor use, so it's not waterproof. You can only use this indoors. Um, it comes with everything you need to get this mounted and set up in your home. You don't even have to wall mount it, but you've got the fixtures included. This can just sit on a desktop quite easily. It does, it does rotate 360 degrees and it also goes vertically up and down. On the back, we've got an ethernet port for an internet connection and you've got a type C port for your power. So I'm using this on my iPhone and the app you need is called MIPC. If we tap get, install it. All right, so check it out. Camera's installed, give you guys a quick demo. You can see live feed right now of my office. Now you can install your own SD card and everything will be saved uh, locally. Additionally, you can sign up for cloud storage if you need it. So 360 camera, so you can spin the camera right around by swiping the screen. And the general motion is actually quite fast. Not only that, you can also swipe all the way up or all the way down. This does support motion detection, human detection. You've got two-way audio. You've got infrared night vision and lots more. Nearly forgot to mention, this also supports Alexa voice. So the baby tone wireless security camera, guys. So here are two products from the same brand. The brand is XFA. I've got here a portable 1080p LED TV with an extra loud, powerful speaker built in. And I've got a portable DAB digital radio as well. It kind of looks like an old school iPod. You turn it on, it says, welcome to XFA. All right, so you have radio, but to hear the radio, you need to plug in the antenna, which I'm about to do. You've got over 50 presets, all your local radio stations, DAB, etc. 
Um, it stores them for you. First time you switch this on, it automatically scans, saves them for you. You've got a built-in battery, 1.6 inch LCD display, weighs only 600 grams. And on the side, you can see power on, power off, lock, type C power socket, and then you've got your mode and menu buttons. So a very quick look at the portable DAB plus FM radio. Um, now this is the one that excited me the most. It's called Candy TV. Let's get it open. So we've got a seven inch screen, it's 1080p. There is a built in battery and it will give you around five hours of portable playback. It's got DVB-T2, so this is free view. It also has a USB port for multimedia playback. You've got a headphone jack and you've got your power socket. This apparently does support fast charging. There is a 2000 milliamp power battery built in and you can see you've got an antenna for your DAB plus. So there is DAB radio built in and then you've got a separate antenna for your television and you just connect this to the back of the TV. The remote uses a CR2032 battery, which is already pre-installed. Okay, so let's give this a quick test. See the reeking, which is... Very touchable. I actually wrote to it. And one where it's a little bit draped, they're looking at the colour. So you just sort of... Th they haven't been burning up the wires. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's a touchscreen. So you don't even need that silly remote. Much better. So we've got EPG guide. Keep an eye on this. Full EPG guide. Telling you what's coming on now and next. There wasn't a famous person so Michael Parkinson hadn't spoken to. And $74 for three plates of absolute dire, dated for your incredible life. You're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV1. Let's turn this off, shut down. That's actually pretty good. Thank you very much. There you have it guys, that concludes episode 83 and if you got this far then please hit the like button and let me know which products were your favourites from the bunch and which one you might be interested in getting. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. All the links are provided for you in the description box, like, sub and follow if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.